Hello friends, this video on components of food part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we saw that the vitamins, minerals, water, roughage, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, all of them are very very important for our body because each of them has a specific function to perform. So if we are not taking in roughage, so we might have indigestion problems. Similarly, if we are not taking in proteins, we might have problems with regards to growth of the overall growth of our body. If we are not taking in carbohydrates or fats, we might not get enough energy to do any work. We might feel tired and weak all the time. So the question is, what will happen if we do not eat enough food? So if we are eating less food, what would happen in that case? So in that case, our body would not get enough energy as is needed by it. Now when the body doesn't receive enough energy, what happens? The body will not be able to do its job properly and that would result in diseases. So these diseases which are caused due to lack of nutrients, they are called deficiency diseases. So when we talk about, when we use the term deficiency, deficiency means lack of anything. So lack of appropriate nutrients to the body for a prolonged period of time. It is not that you will have deficiency if you do not eat food for one day. A lot of people do fasting. They do not eat anything the entire day, but nothing happens to them. Now, even if a person doesn't eat anything for one or two days, or even a couple of days, that person might survive, but gradually he will tend to become weaker and weaker. And finally, a stage will come when it will be like for a long period of time that person's body did not receive the nutrients and then the body will start to deteriorate. And that is when we call that the person is suffering from deficiency because he is not getting the right amount of nutrients. Now, deficiency of nutrients can lead to a lot of diseases in a person and these diseases are called deficiency diseases. So these are diseases caused due to deficiency of one or more nutrients. So let us look at this example. So let's say that uh, this nuts, fishes, yogurt, um, pulses, they are very rich source of proteins. Now let's say that this guy, he decided to stop taking proteins in his diet. So he completely stopped in the intake of proteins. Now what do you think will happen? Now what is the function of proteins in our body? Proteins, they help in the overall growth of tissues, in the repair of tissues. Now the tissues would not be growing. Now when the tissues inside our body are not growing, what is happening to our body? So the overall growth is also retarded. So therefore, the person would not have proper growth and development. So the, the child's growth would be retarded. So that is how it is. So whichever uh, nutrient we are taking in, they have a specific purpose in our body. So if we completely stop taking that nutrient, it is definitely going to affect our body. And these diseases which arises due to deficiency of a particular nutrient, that is called a deficiency disease. So let us look at some examples of deficiency diseases. So one, these are some of the common diseases like beriberi. So beriberi is a disease in which a person has weak muscle. And do you know what causes these diseases? Now the muscles of the person become so weak that the muscular movements don't, don't happen at all. And this beriberi is caused due to lack of vitamin B1. So if you do not have B1 in your diet at all, that can result to beriberi. Similarly, there is another disease called scurvy. So in scurvy, there are bleeding gums. So the gums are badly affected. Again, if there is a wound anywhere in the body that doesn't heal quickly. Now, which, which is that particular nutrient which takes care of our teeth, gums? So that's nothing but vitamin C. So when there is lack of vitamin C, that results in scurvy. Rickets. Now what happens in rickets is the bones become very soft and bent. Now the bones become bones are so soft that they break any time. So they are not able to take any kind of load. And why do we have bones? Because bones help us to move our body. You see we are able to move our arms, we are able to move our legs, we are able to move our fingers. So everything is movable. So in this flexibility bones play a very important role. But if the bones are very very soft they tend to bend and they do not provide any structural stability. 
So this rickett is caused by the deficiency of vitamin D. Bone and tooth decay. In a lot of cases, the all the teeth they start decaying, the bones also decay. So very weak bones and teeth basically. So for for keeping the bones and teeth stronger, calcium is very important. So calcium is a mineral. So intake of calcium in the form of milk or milk products can actually help to improve the bones and teeth condition. Night blindness. That is when a person cannot see during night time. That is. He has very poor vision or almost no vision at night. So that's called night blindness. And night blindness, why does that happen? Because something goes wrong inside your eye. And which is that nutrient which takes care of the health of your eye? So that is taken care by vitamin A. So when there is deficiency of vitamin A, that results in poor functioning of the eye. Anemia. So anemia is the condition when there is insufficient hemoglobin in our blood. So hemoglobin is the red colored component in the blood. Due to the presence of hemoglobin, the color of the blood is red. So that's the, that's the significance of hemoglobin. And what, what is the purpose of hemoglobin? It carries oxygen from one part of the body to another. Now each and every cell inside our body needs oxygen to do their job. So hemoglobin actually helps to transport oxygen. Now when there is less hemoglobin in the blood, that results in anemia. Because if there is less hemoglobin, there will be less transportation to oxygen to different cells. So this can lead to weakness, dizziness because the cells will not be able to do their job appropriately. Goiter. So goiter is a condition where you would see a swollen region around the leg, neck. So as you see here. These are, this is how a patient suffering from goiter looks like. And goiter happens due to the deficiency of mineral iodine. Now, have you ever see, noticed in television, normally the advertisements which come for various brands of salt, they say that iodized salt, that means the salt contains a lot of iodine. So why do they say that? Because salt is a very important, is, is, is a very good source of iodine. And if you do not have enough iodine in your body, that can cause goiter. So they always tell you that always buy iodized salt. Now goiter can also call, cause mental disability in children. So when it happens in children, their mental growth doesn't really take place. So that so they remain mentally retarded. So these were some of the very common deficiency diseases. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.